seconds. All right, there he is. <laughs> Wind jumpy, you'll be able to see yourself in a second, yeah. probably. I don't know how you're probably about guys. you're probably like thirty seconds behind or something. All right, let me know how the you guys let me know how the audio is. That's always a thing. It seems like I have to figure out. What's up, okay. Stacy? Stay fly. All the <laughs> Good to see all you guys in here. The um the night bot the night bot might be working so I might be able to do automatic giveaways. I was having problems with it. Goomba he helped me um set it up and it wasn't working, but I think it might be working. So we'll see. Thanks, man. I'm a bit low on the audio. All right, hold on. All right, is, see if that's better. Say something, Wind Jumpy. Yeah, check, check. You guys can damn any better. Oh, maybe that's just me talking soft. Maybe I should talk a little bit louder. You so, you sound you sound good <laughs> on my end. All right, cool. All right, Stacy says a little better. Tommy's saying perfect, so All right, nice. I guess we're good. Yeah, um, man. And yeah, I stoked you, uh, you guys inviting me on the streams. You know, I get a lot of love from the FTP community these days, and uh, definitely glad to be here, man. Hanging out with you guys, Nappy, Nappy, you, you helped me out a lot uh, in the past too. Remember when I was down and I was. Like had no quads and really needed help. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you got yeah. back in the air, man. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I guess. Uh, how'd you get started, man? I know people already heard you talk about it once, but. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. So what's up? How'd you get into FPV? That's a good, good, good first line here. Yeah. Hey, Flexo 3D. Yeah, I uh, got into FPV. Well, originally I'm into extreme sports, so I like uh, flying, uh, you know, kite surfing, surfing, mountain biking, you name it, wakeboarding, you know, all those, all those extreme sports. And, you know, a couple of years ago, in 2020, yeah, actually started in August 2020. I got myself the little uh, EMAX Tiny Hawk kit, you know, the little, there's a 1S, the white one, and the little... 2S, the uh, Tiny Hawk S, that was the black one. Started off on those little tiny drones. And around that same time, we had COVID. <laughs> so we were pretty much locked down. We weren't allowed to go to the beaches, believe it or not. Our beaches were closed. I, re I remember that. The, man, that sucked. So we weren't allowed to go mountain biking. <laughs> we weren't allowed to go jogging. Literally, we, you know, you have, to, you have to stay home. So... I uh, found FPV and that sort of free feeling, that, that, that freedom. You could be in your house, put those goggles on and go outside, fly around, in and out of your house. That's kind of how I got initially into the FPV. Um, yeah, that, I, I remember that time. Like Then they opened your beaches up and you were only allowed to go till like noon or something crazy like that, wasn't it? Something stupid. Yeah, yeah like two hours a day or something silly like that yeah <laughs> yeah that's crazy. crazy that was definitely crazy times hopefully we don't have to live through that stuff again i know eh? thank god it's gone <laughs> but um i my plan actually was to stick with with my clothes because i love the way you could uh you could go anywhere you shrink your world down into a, a micro world and, you know, you could fly around your house, your kitchen, your bathroom, you know, in and out of the windows. And I, in the beginning, I had no interest in flying five-inch or, or seven-inch drones. I, I uh, just enjoyed the, uh, the freedom of being able to get in and amongst things, you know, in the small little spaces. Until I actually got hands-on one day, a friend of mine with a five-inch drone said, look, 
fly this and then tell me <laughs> if you still want to, to be a micro pilot. And uh, yeah, that was about two years ago and then I never looked back since. Built myself a five inch quad, never looked back after that. Yeah, I started out with micros also, then I ended up getting a 5-inch, and then I ended up losing it. Well, I didn't lose it. I freaking fail safe in the river, and then it was destroyed. And then um, then I got back to 5-inch, too. Now I never fly micros now. Yeah, I got, I, I got rid of my micros. Hmm? What's up, Smags? Who else is in here? Somebody else I just saw. What's up, One Vision? Steve O already said that. I thought I saw somebody else new in here. Oh, what's up, King Keep? Mm -hmm. Flexo 3D. So, hey, I, I saw you saw that I started flying 3D. And to me, I, I uh, didn't know why I started flying 3D earlier. I always knew that 3D existed, but never really tried it until recently. And then. It, I just fell in love with it. It feels so <laughs> natural. Like the quad should be able to fly upside down. <laughs> man, I, I kind of want to try it, but I, I don't know, man. I wish I could go back and forth, but I know, I know I'd struggle. You can't go back and forth. I thought in the beginning that I was gonna, you know, fly 3D and then switch back to normal flight. But once you start flying 3D, you get so used to that top half, using just the top half of the throttle, you convert, I converted all my quads over to 3D, so even if I'm just cruising around and taking a normal flight, I'm still in 3D mode. So, I was talking to Flexo, and uh, I think I might hold the world record for the, having the most 3D pilots on a live stream, because <laughs> Flexo, right, Fle nice. Flexo was on earlier, now you're on. So uh, that's two. I don't know if anybody else has had two on a live stream or not. And it, it seems that three um, D has been around for a while, so we you know kind of introduced it to the community through Rotorize and all that. And it when Zoe stopped flying, so he was going through all her personal stuff. Nobody else really, you know. There's a few a few guys, uh, Chris Riley, three D everything. A few guys flying three D, but it never really kicked off mainstream, and I don't know why. It's uh, such a unique skill, and it's just so uh, amazing that I would <laughs> think, you know, it, 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 more people would be flying freely, more pilots would be flying freely. I, man, it, it, I like it, but like I said, man, if, if I could go back and forth, I would. I, I would at least try it, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know, man. I think I'm going to stick to flying normal. <laughs> I, I mean it's super cool though it's crazy like i think it's crazy like when somebody does like a like a maddie over some trees or something and then like just keeps flying underneath of them like upside down yeah yep yeah. that's amazing blows, blows my mind yeah it's hey, crazy. Flies over, flies over. What's up? yeah what's up fly drone mfr what's up what's up e drone yeah man so i just love the the, the community vibe. I, uh, as I said, you know, I'm into a lot of different hobbies, and FPV is just so unique. The thrill of FPV flying FPV is just so unique. You know, I can't really compare it to any other hobby. You know, I can't compare it to anything else. It's amazing, and and the guys in the community too, man. It's, I feel like I know you all, everybody personally, <laughs> even though I never yeah. met, met you. It's this. Yeah, man. It's, that's definitely Good cool. Times. It's definitely cool part about it, man. They're like, I mean, I've, I've never met anybody in FPV that I like. I mean, I might not love them, but I'm like at least like them a little bit. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. seems like. Mhm. Mm Thanks, MFR. E drone, what's up, man? Yeah, man. So uh, everybody in the in the house hanging out. Uh, anybody have any questions? like for me at all uh, about anything yes yeah, steve -O, i don't know what's up i tried to set nightbot up um like yeah two days ago and i thought i had everything figured out and then it wasn't working and then now all of a sudden it's on here working and i don't even know what it's doing 
I see it's a piece of cake. Um, I, I did it for giveaways so I could do automatic giveaways. So that would be easier, but um, I don't know. Yeah, AI something. <laughs> what? Yeah, what's it saying? Stop spamming. What emotes? What's an emote? That's what Nightbot said. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I'll ask a question if nobody else has one. Uh, so I, I know what you're, I know you're from what, it's Trinidad and Tobago, is that or Tobago, how do you say it? Trinidad and Tobago, T Tobago, yeah, that's how you say it. I'm uh, flying my national colors here tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna to go to Nightbot and see uh, Nick. Nick just said it blocked him for some reason. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know why Nightbot's doing that. Uh, yeah. So since I got into FPV, I've only flown on the island. I've never uh, flown anywhere else. Like my mom's in Canada. I usually go to Canada for a holiday. I haven't been since um, since COVID, but I uh, see they have a lot of guys up there. If I do get to Canada, I'm gonna definitely hit up you know Toronto FUB and a few of the guys up there, Drone Bomb and a few of the others. <laughs> we actually we went to this summer. We went to um, to Canada, and. Uh, um, it was pretty cool. I, I tried to find somewhere to fly and uh, I flew I flew my DJI Mini 2 um, the most just to, like flying it like to get shots of like uh, the Grand Canyon and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then I flew like I found one like office park and um, it was uh, pretty cool but I don't know I was um, I thought I'd be able to find better spots, but I couldn't find any. But I mean, I'm sure if you know, I'm sure if you knew somebody there or knew where to go. Uh, oh yes, uh, social media. I guess you, know, you just have to post. Hey, I'm 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 here. Anybody close by, hit me up. I'm sure, you could find a, a little group of of people. I'm trying to figure out why Nick's freaking. <laughs> blocked. He look. He sent. He sent like a bunch of uh, smiley faces with heart for eyes, and that's all it says. And then it says he's timed out for posting caps. Oh, I wonder if they think he's a freaking. Uh, think he's a bot or something. Um. Yeah. Hey, Rilo. What's up, man? Yeah, I'll be flying tomorrow. I'm going to be hitting up those spots. We, tomorrow is uh, our Independence Day, so tomorrow is a public holiday. Oh, that's holiday. awesome. Yeah, so everybody, they're going to have like parades and stuff in, in, in the main square, in the main town. But they sent a notice out to all drone pilots that we are not allowed to fly <laughs> on Independence Day around any of the events because, it's, it's, you know, it's military, it's marching. And oh, okay. Like yeah, so we're not allowed to fly around any of the events, but all the other spots would be free because everybody would be at the at the event. So I'm going to look for probably one of the bandos or somewhere that, that uh, normally has people that's not going to have people tomorrow. So new spot, new spot search tomorrow. That's always cool finding a new spot. I mean, the island's small. They don't have that many spots, but, you know, and, ah, you know, that's the thing I noticed with uh, getting into digital, getting into HD. The same spots that I fly, that I used to fly with Amalot, now all of a sudden look kind of like a whole <laughs> new world because you you can see everything. You, you're choosing different lines and going more, you know, exploring. And, yeah, like definitely flying the same spots now, but with HD and seeing a uh, whole, new, whole new world. Yeah, I, I'm glad I started out with analog, but when I went to HD, man, that was that was like a yeah. game changer, man. 
Where are you flying now, uh, DJI? Or? Yeah, I, draw, I fly the V2 and with the Vistas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I start. A lot of people seem to fly that. They have a few pilots locally over here that fly DJI as well. Isn't there, everything's super expensive to get though, isn't it? That's what sucks, isn't it? Yep. So that's kind of why I went walk snail. I originally wanted to go HD zero, and DHL lost my uh, ordered a VRX for my sky zone. <laughs> DHL lost my package, and I was kind of bummed out. You know, I didn't get all my money back. I got some money back. But Walk Snail kind of stepped their game up and kind of was, you know, making a big uh, footprint and got me interested. And I got the Walk Snail VRX. It's, you know, it's not as expensive as, as DJI, but it's still, still digital, still HD. And I'm loving it so far. You know, I, I'm flying it a couple of days now and, yeah, man, it's sick. It is real nice. <laughs> you got a smile on your face. That's awesome. Yeah, man, it is. Uh, yeah. I flew analog for like probably, I don't know, probably about, that yeah, wasn't quite a year and a half, but it was over a year. And I switched. Like, I held off forever, man. Like, it came out. DJ, I came I out. I used to say analog for life, right? I used to say analog for life, Because right? I had a good quality link. My analog yeah. was solid, man. Never had any issues with it. Uh, the people that say analog for life are probably still watching VHS tapes and on their tube television. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. just haven't tried, haven't tried yeah. digital. Because when you haven't tried digital, you don't have anything to compare. You don't have it compared to. So I was only flying analog. I mean, I looked into a pair of DJI goggles and I didn't like that. Uh, I couldn't adjust the focal distance. It was only uh, IPD. You couldn't adjust that distance in and out of the screen on DJI. And I, could, I, I always found that I couldn't get that focus right. And it seemed a little, the LCD screen seemed a little washed out for me. And I didn't, I wasn't really wowed by, by DJI. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to stick with my analog for a while longer. And along comes HD Zero, and along comes Walk Snail, and giving us a couple of options. Yeah, that's. I mean, you, you knew there was going to be some stuff coming along eventually. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And I see that they um, those open open IPC projects now they're doing really good. You know, they're still like around 50 milliseconds of latency. It's really high. It's not good for freestyle or anything, but it's good to see that there's an open. You know, an open source project for yeah. the digital HD video feed out there. Hey, Tommy, I'm I'm just joking, man. If uh, I'm just saying, people that say analog for life, I'm just kidding, dude. Um, I actually flew analog for the first time, and like since I went <laughs> since I went HD like two weeks ago, I flew. Yeah, what was that like? It wasn't even. I I was shocked, really. I was I used some HDO twos. And it was a it was a tiny whoop, and I I couldn't believe it. It was twenty on twenty five milliwatt. I was like, man, I was like, uh, analog's a lot better than it used to be. Mm. Yes, it is. It is pretty good. It's it's quite solid. But then with the resolution, I when I went back to analog after flying a couple sessions in HD, <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't fly it anymore. It's like nah, I can't, I can't fly this. What? <laughs> I don't know how I've been flying this all along, but. You know, we're moving forward. Technology getting better. When, um, I might I actually feel I did feel the latency straight straight off the bat, but after the first pack, my my brain just compensated for that extra twenty milliseconds. And yeah, I was fine. I think the people that say they like feel the latency and can't fly, man, just haven't really tried it either. Because, I mean, I it's never really bothered me. Like maybe at the first. I mean, like week or something, it was kind of weird. But like being able to see and like the penetration is what's what I like about it, man. I mean, you can fly yeah. behind anything, and like, and just you can see. <laughs> yeah, that that's immediately what I noticed. So you start going places you've never been. Yeah. Like I mean, I think somebody that flies like that flies like steel that goes 150 mile an hour all the time. He might be somebody that actually be like, well, the latency bothers me, but for like 
the other 95% of the FPV people, like, I don't think it's going to bother them, the latency. Well, this, uh, this, I noticed it straight off the bat. Like, if you go straight from analog, the first time you fly it, you'll be like, oh, my God, what, is, what the hell is that? Yep. You kind of get used to it. And then something like the 540p race mode comes out, and then you, you drop by 20 milliseconds, and then it goes back to that... Uh, analog rev because analog realistically with an hdr analog camera you have 20 milliseconds of latency and with our walk snail 540 you get in 22 milliseconds of latency which is to me it felt like analog i didn't feel a difference in in terms of latency so, yeah yeah well i don't know if dji i think dji has a low latency a low latency yeah, yeah. There's a um, I forget what it's called because I fly the I fly the low latency mode. They have a better mode that's like a better picture, but it's a uh, slower, like the uh, the rate slower. But I mean, I don't um, I don't know about the new goggles. I haven't used them, but I don't know. It, it's good enough for me, man. Like I just like being able to see go, like ghost branches and freaking. Um, yeah. Whatever, anything. <laughs> yeah. Talking about that, your flying bit been uh, improving a lot, man. Like it, it, you're leveled up, like you know. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, kind of like stair step. I, I think that's kind of how I progress as well. I, I plateau for a little while and then stair step up and level up. Yeah, like I, I think I think I have gotten better too. Like you said, like. Man, I kind of, I wasn't like burnout, out, burn out, like where I like wanted to quit or anything, but I was just like so sick of my spots, so sick of like, I don't know, just, that, that was what was getting to me, man, I think was just like doing the same old, same old, and actually I've been like actually traveling not far, but like, you know, driving 30, 40 minutes to go to different spots, and I think that's helped a lot, just something, different scenery. Yeah. I see you nailing those matties, man. Those matty, those matty clips. There. Once you get them, yeah. once you get them down, you know, it is, you will just every every bar, every overhang you see, you want yep. the matty. Yeah. I I couldn't get the matty forever. And MFR, he's in here right now. Me and him were flying, and he was like, he's like, man, just do a front flip and go back underneath of it, and like all yeah, start off like that, yeah. All the videos I watched. Like I would come, come over top and then smack the ground and I would always do that. And then MFR was like, just flip over it, man, go back. And I was like, I was like, man, you're a freaking genius. Yeah, <laughs> and it, yeah. it, just, it just hit me like, bam, and it stuck. Yeah, man, that's good. I want to catch up Bradley, on the chat. Rilo, Steve-O, you're too slow to notice or oh, what latency. Yeah, you're too slow, Steve-O. What's up, Raz? I'm well, I, man, one of the hardest things... Mary, man, one of the hardest things for, One of the hardest things for me streaming is uh, I always forget to look at the chat and I'll look and there will be 20 messages I'm behind. Yeah. So what Mary, man, said there with uh, the DJI V2 was awful, but I don't feel the latency on walk sales. What uh, Chris Ross did, Chris Ross did a side by side test, uh, DVR recording of Walk Snail and DJI. And after three, after three minutes, the DJI video DVR ended before the Walk Snail. And he explained why. DJI uh, throws away frames. So when there's a, a bad frame coming in, DJI will just throw it away and just give you the next frame and just keep moving forward where a walk snail tries to retain that frame. So that's what that sort of smearing is. And you see that kind of blurriness. That's walk snail trying to preserve the frame instead of just tossing it out and giving you a, a skipped frozen frame. So I kind of like that because you don't feel, you don't get that laggy sort of stuttery feel. You just get that smooth feel. And even though some parts of the image might be a little bit uh, blurry, it's, is compensated by the uh, low, the low consistent latency. And I, I like that, that, that technology, whatever they're doing behind the scenes there, I, I like that, working for me. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to try walk snail, but like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty into uh, 
DJI right now. I have like, I'm trying to think, one, two, three, four, five. I have si I have six Vistas right now and, and an air unit. So, I mean, I guess I could sell all that stuff, but. Well, I was just going to say, you're, you're not going to get air units anymore, so you should hold on to those as gold. Because all, all you have is O3 when yeah. all the, the air units are done. Yeah, whenever whenever they were, um, well, I actually have seven seven vistas in one air unit. Like whenever they start, whenever they started, uh, like like the rumors were they were going to disappear, or whatever. Like if I'd yeah. if I'd see one like on Facebook Marketplace for good price, I'd buy it or whatever, or like or like I'd buy a new one. Like I kind of just started hoarding them. I mean, I didn't buy that many of them, but I'm 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 stocked for a while. <laughs> Talking about buying stuff on stock, um, we basically, our customs division, that they are, well, they, they put out a public notice that any drones that enter Trinidad and Tobago will be confiscated, will be seized. Like, we're, without question, we're not allowed to bring drones into the country. So, that that's fully built drones. So, you'll have to... So, uh, uh, hoping that doesn't trickle, trickle down to drone parts as well. But they're looking like this band, this China band, that will be affected, affected us here, boy. Yeah. Just keeping our fingers crossed that we could yeah. still somehow get gear in because, you know, what happens if get FPV and, and pyro drone run out of stock? We'll be kind of in shit. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I I don't I don't know how they would ban the parts, man. Because I mean, that could be used for anything, but. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the uh, shipping companies don't want liability. So even let's say we try to order directly from China, the the shipping companies are like, nah, we're not we're not gonna take the risk. So trying to figure out what the best move would be. Rilo, what's after what's after what's after September first? September 1st is the date, the oh. date that they are going to uh, initiate the, the ban. Oh, okay. I yeah, so we know for sure T-Motor, T-Motor is one, T-Motor emailed all their suppliers, all their wholesalers, all their retailers in the U.S. that they wouldn't be able to, to stop T-Motor gear from September the 1st. Uh, they have a few other FPV companies that, that are affected, DJI. DJI, DJI is on the top of the list because they have a lot of shady stuff going on behind the scenes. But they, uh, China basically telling everybody, you know, get FPV Pyro drone by email that, hey, as of September the 1st, we wouldn't be able to, to send you any FPV gear. Kind of scary, yeah? Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't know it was September 1st. That's like what in two days, isn't it? Yeah. So um, people are already panic buying. People are already grabbing up as much gear as possible. A lot of things are already sold out. I was on Pyro Drone today. A lot of basic things are out of stock already. Bang. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen there. Uh, something will come. I mean, I don't know. Something will happen. Like, something positive will end up happening sometime, somehow. Yeah, like walk sale too. There's, there's something funny going on. Well, I, I don't know if Fat Shark has an assembly line, uh, assembly line for walk snail. For Fat Snail, Fat Shark walk snail goggles in the U.S. Yeah. But walk snail can't ship walk snail goggles into the U.S. from China. But somehow, the retailers can stop the Fat Shark, Fat Snail goggles. Oh yeah, it'll be a name. It'll be a name change. Like even like DJI will be something like some small company will pop up probably and look just like DJI, and it'll be yeah. it'll be selling. They have, they have too much money, man. What's up, Austin? Austin. Bo hey, bo boats and drones. What's up? How about sub two fifty MFR? Ask. I saw that, and. I think he was asking you about 250, 250 grams, I guess. Yeah, we don't have 
we don't have any uh, sub-250 laws like that yet. So like they're not, no, they're not hitting us about remote ID or anything down here in the Caribbean uh, yet, because we always follow <laughs> the rest of the world. Oh yeah, it'll, next year. <laughs> Twenty five, five years. Let's see, let's say five years. Are you guys about five years behind? <laughs> yeah, things go real slow here, man. I mean, the land, the time for us. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stacy, they do suck. What's up, Jason? Stacy said the government sucks. I I can't give you enough likes on that, Stacy. That's for sure. <laughs> island time. Yeah, island vibes. Man, it's I just rain. It just rained. I hope <laughs> tomorrow it, it, it doesn't rain tomorrow because I'm actually gonna finish charging up all the packs there and go out for that spot tomorrow. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, I hope, it's been nice here. Like it was like seventy three or four degrees, like sunny out today. It was perfect. And I, I should have went and, and flown, but I freaking did yard work all day. My, like, I've been putting off yard work for about a week, man, and I needed to do it. And it, I messed around all day. I was like, man, it was perfect to go out and fly. What's up, Quad Daddy? Um, I just thought of something. What? Where am I going, CC? Where's that at? Raz. Yes, thanks, man. I saw that hurricane coming up. Coming up your oh. head. It, it passed us as a, just a little tropical storm, a little bit of rain. And by the time it got up to you guys, it was a perfectly formed hurricane, man. I hope. It seems to be swinging back out into the Atlantic, so I think you all are see. No, Raz, I wanted to go to Castle Crash, but I have to work, and I couldn't get off because somebody else was on vacation. They put in before me, so I couldn't go. Do you get a lot of hurricanes there, Wind Jumpy? More, we get more tropical storms. The, the hurricanes form after they pass us. Um, what? This just hit me, so I'm kind of changing the subject. We're all the way over on the east. How'd you, how, how'd you come up with your uh, FPV name? Aha, uh -huh. yeah, because I'm uh, <laughs> originally a uh, windsurf. I've been windsurfing. Oh, uh, yeah, holding. I knew, I knew my that. Whole, my whole life. So that was my windsurfing name. And it, I just, it just kind of carried over into FPV. I stuck FPV on the end there. Wind yep. jumpy FPV, why not? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And uh, it has a little folklore, uh, Jumbi. A Jumbi is a local, uh, like an aberration, kind of like a, a spirit or a ghost. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when the wind blows, the Jumbi will come out of nowhere. As soon as there's wind, the Jumbi will appear. So that's, that's the, the kind of theme I had going with that name. Okay, yeah. I've I'm glad I thought of that because that, that's one thing I wanted to ask you. Then, like we were talking about wind, and then, uh, mm -hmm. so it just hit me. Um, I'm getting ready to try something. I want hopefully it works. Um, Spin the wheel. Well, if it doesn't work, uh, um, I uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I want to do a giveaway, but hold on, I want to try to set it up. Hopefully, this automatic giveaway will work. Um, yeah, I love how you guys give back to the community. I'm uh, hoping that I could do something for uh, when I get to my one, my one k, my one thousand subscriber mark. Do some sort of giveaway or. or Something I don't know what I got. Yes, I'll figure something out. Well, I, I I started a Patreon. If anybody wants to join my Patreon, my goal for the stream is to get a three dollar one because I don't have a three dollar one, and I'm gonna be doing a Patreon mm -hmm. giveaway at the end here. Um, I have four patrons, but um, yeah, like 
Nice. Uh, yeah, I started. I did. I started doing some giveaways and stuff, and then um, um. Dizzy Dean was like, "Do you have a Patreon?" I was like, "No." He's like, "You should start one." <clears throat> and so I started yeah. one. I started one, and then like people. <laughs> people actually subscribed i was kind of shocked but i got four of them and i get 14 dollars a month so i'm like that's cool that's that's giveaway money but i'm yeah. gi i'm giving away more than 14 dollars and stuff today and though. technique i have two i have two so far Don, donnie and uh technique yes yeah, stacy i'm rich yeah. um all right guys i'm gonna try to do a I'm going to try to do a giveaway. I'll do, um, let's see, what time is it? 10.10. 10. I'll do, um, I have a couple wrecked uh, straps and some stickers. So let's see if this will work. Type in Goomba, G-O-O-M-B-A, all lowercase, to enter. Hopefully it works. Goomba. Lowercase technique though, I have it lowercase. There you go. I'll give you guys a couple minutes. You can enter when jumpy. I don't know how much it'll how much it'll cost me to ship to you. <laughs> uh well we'll talk about how we get our gear down there. It's kinda hard. So we're all the way down in the Caribbean, like right off the coast of Venezuela. And when we order stuff we have to get our our gear from from the U.S. from getting to the Alpire Zone. If we order it through our normal post, it will get lost or stolen. Oh. Almost 100% guaranteed. Oh, who, who? So what we do is we have a skybox in Miami at Miami address. All right. Who steals it? The government? Nah. Somebody, some person, <laughs> some individual. It's South America, you know, it's, it's a world country. Somebody will open that package and see something that they want and just take it. So um, I I remember whenever your stuff whatever happened with all your stuff that one time and we started talking I think that was like the first time I talked to you other than like uh, yeah. co comment on videos like um, I remember you said that um, like doesn't the U S like uh, think you guys are like terrorists isn't that like a thing like that your country's yeah. like a bunch of terrorists yeah we have a uh a very high amount of um, supporters of, of of the the Islam, you know, and on their records they they say that there are a lot of people left from from this country from Trinidad and Tobago to go over to the Middle East to, to fight you know in the, the the jihad. So they kind of look at us as. You know, they're, they're real careful with, with the things that come through their customs. So they're really tight, man. You know, just to get basic FDB gear in, in you know, it's, it is it is kind of hard. Yeah, that's crazy. And it takes about two weeks, uh, roughly two weeks to get there from the U.S. So you have to wait. If you break, break something, I need a replacement to have a wait. So, like, do you guys have, like, Amazon? Does what, Amazon work for you guys? Yeah, we could order stuff off of Amazon. But we always have to use a private shipping company. It's safer, you know, a DHL or any, any uh, they have a few other companies. As opposed to just ordering direct and letting it come through the post. So we have to pay a little bit extra, you know. It, believe it or not, sometimes we could spend you know, over a hundred dollars US just for shipping and happen. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, don't care what it is. It could be two tiny items, two little receivers, two little ELRS receivers. You still have to pay shipping and handling. Sometimes the shipping and handling is more than the cost of the receivers. And then it gets here and then customs then adds another fee on top of that. So that's kind of, I would say that's a, a reason why not many people in Trinidad and Tobago are into FPV because of the challenges, you know, get, getting into the hobby, getting care, and then, you know, actually building a drone. It does take some commitment and patience. 
Oh, yeah, that's crazy, man. Like, like we're spoiled here <laughs> with stuff like that. I know where you can just go down to the to the nearest store or Best Buy and get a little piece of free GoPro. You know, we 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 out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, like I have a I have an FPV shop, like it's like 12 minutes from my house, which they just opened like uh, this year. It's wrecked, but it's like mm -hmm. that's super cool. Like, I mean, I can break something and like for real be back in the air like that night. You know what I mean? If hey, I, Stace, man. Yeah, Stace. We what we do is we have a little a local WhatsApp group. And we would all uh, kind of try to pool our orders together into one uh, big order to save on, on shipping. That's that's a that's a good that's that's a good way to do it. The exchange rate is is seven to one, so seven TT dollars to one US dollar. Uh, my that is sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying I'm trying to do this giveaway and it's not freaking working. Um, I guess I'll have to. I guess I don't know. Uh, I was having problems with it and Goomba was like, I screen or uh, um, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> I can't think what I'm trying to say. Like um, when you call, I don't know. I don't know anything about those. Uh Those raffles, those spin, yeah, those, it's uh, random. It's not working for some reason. Um. Hmm. Yeah, they are, oh, Merriman. You I, know what I think you could do? I think there's uh, uh, a, a site, a website that you could go to separately, just on Google, that will randomly, randomly select. I'm not sure, but I think there's one. What? Well, I, I found a wheel that you can spin and uh, it works. I just have to manually put in everybody's names. And what sucks is, mm. is Goomba helped me do this, or I did it and I did it right. And then he was like, he's like, were well, you doing something wrong? And then um, I was talking to him and showed him everything I was doing and it wasn't working. Um, and he's like, I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, it's not working. Um, I guess I don't know. I'm gonna stop messing with it. I don't feel like freaking. Uh, I'll just yeah, do, I need I need to learn to do all this stuff too because I eventually want to do a stream at some point and get all the uh, get all the local pilots because Rilo, I see Rilo in the chat. Um, we have a few others, drone guy. There's Zo, Zo FPB is there. So there's a handful, there's a handful of us here, a small tight knit community, probably uh, eight, eight pilots if so, if so many that are active. You know, a lot of people have life and uh, FPB is uh, take a back seat. FPB is just sort of on the weekend. But there's about eight of us that are really active in the community and you know, we keep in contact. I wanna get everybody on a stream one, one day yeah that would be that would be super cool um there's all kinds of videos to set up nightbot so you can probably follow them and it might work it might work for you i don't know why it's not working for me like i did a i did a test stream like early yesterday and it would work like half the time and the other half it wouldn't work and oh who did who did it for you maybe he could spin maybe he could do it from from his end or what do you think? Who wants to? Who, who did? Who did it? Who oh, did to do it? I, it was Goomba, but I'll just I'll do it. I'll just uh, Goomba, yeah. Uh, maybe he can do it from his end. He can. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I can do the wheel. I was just trying to. I'm trying to do it the easy way. Where all you have. To, where all I have to. Yeah, typing everybody's name in. Yeah, that's too long. That's, I mean, too long. I'll do it if you want to enter the get. If you want to enter a giveaway. Um, just say, uh, whatever, say giveaway, and then I'll put your name down. And then I'll just spin the wheel like the, the old fashioned way. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I usually do it.
Um, Lambo's here. Do you want to enter Lambo? I still haven't. I want to ship your stickers out tomorrow, Lambo. So I might as well put you down. Flexo. Tommy. I'll give you guys a couple minutes. No rush. Merriman. I have a freaking pencil that's like really, really dull. Go figure. <laughs> See, um, tech. Who is it you, you said was from Trinidad? Um, it's my son. It's his, uh, he goes to school with her. Um, it's one of his friends. Um, I guess, like I said, they moved here, uh, I think it was like 10 or 12 years ago. Um, from I think her, her dad was like, um, I'm, I think I'm right on this. Her dad is like a, a general or something. I don't know. He was like, I guess like somebody halfway important. I don't know though. I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Stacy. Yeah, I'm using a freaking piece of paper that's all. There's a clean piece. All right, I'm going to go. If, um,. I'm zoning out. I'm going to start the wheel, finding the wheel. So if I'm not like talking or something, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. But I'll try to keep it going. Yeah, um, her dad was, I think he said, I should have asked him before we started. Her dad, I think, was something in the, um, something in the military, like a general mm. or something. But I don't know. Yeah. Believe it or not, we have a lot of people who want to migrate, who want to move to the U.S. from um, from the Caribbean, from here, from Trinidad and Tobago. Because, well, it kind of, well, you earn more money, quality of life is a bit better. So even though we're in this, you know, palm tree and white sand beach, he had a kind of hard meaning that our money ain't worked that much on a global scale. So we had to work hard if you want to support an expensive hobby like SCB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I have two jobs. Most of us have two or three jobs, eh? That's kind of like normal. Are you wanting to come ever? Or are you like, are you want, Are you going to stay there forever? Uh, I have to go to Canada at some point to visit my family. So, uh, definitely had to get, get to Canada at some point in the near future. Where? But yeah, I'm gonna I live here. You know, I have uh, I have it I have it kind of okay here. You know, a decent job. The close knit community, being a small island, only sixty thousand people on the island. Everybody knows everybody. Mm. Kind of like a family. But where where I live at my where I live at my town. I think we have like 50, we have like 55,000 people. So your whole, your whole country is about as big as my city. The whole island, exactly. So, yeah, and uh, everybody's kind of like family. And if I had to, 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 to move anywhere, I, could, I have to go and start all over again. So I'll travel around on vacation, but I'm going to be, I'm going to live here. I don't have any plans to move. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you off for like two seconds, and then I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, you no problems. You go ahead. But I'm gonna I want to ask you a question when I get back. All right, I got Lambo, Flexo, Alan, Tommy, Rilo, Merriman, Tech, King, and Stacy. If you said you wanted to enter and you, I didn't say your name, um, let me know. <coughs> um, all right, Lynn Jumpy, are you um where where's your mom at in Canada? Montreal, Quebec. That we we went there. We went there on vacation this summer. It's really nice, eh? Yeah, I went every year religiously for my entire life. So I was living here, going to school here. But for summer holidays and winter holidays, I would go to Canada to visit my grandparents and stuff. Yeah, it was... Um, do you speak French then, probably? Mm, a little bit. A little yeah. bit, but not, not much. I never spent enough time in... Quebec to, to get fluent in French. Um, 
My son. Alan. He... I see Alan in the chat here. Alan, you need to change that name to your F name. Alan is a new, a fairly new pilot. So we actually get in people into the hobby now. That's that's really cool. But Alan is kind of the, the latest, the latest pilot in, in the group in, in the crew. All right, cool. He's local to you then. Yeah. Yeah, not Tobago, not my island. There's uh, Trinidad and Tobago. They're in Trinidad. So I'm the only one in Tobago. Uh, I have two two other people that are actually pushing and trying to get them more active in FPV. But most of the guys you see in the chat here are from Trinidad, over on the big island. So uh, can you go in between islands? Are you guys considered one country? Yeah, we're one country, one republic. They have like uh, hourly hourly flights back and forth and a uh, uh, ferry twice a day. All right, that's cool. Yeah, so I did... That is the main industrial hub. You know, it's uh, 1. Point, I was 1. 1.5, roughly 1. 1.5 million people in Trinidad. Oh, so it's way bigger than... Way bigger than Tobago. Tobago is just a tiny little rock off to the side of Trinidad. All right, yeah, I Trinidad, didn't... Trinidad is like, I think, the closest point is like two or three miles away from Venezuela. You could see Venezuela clearly from Trinidad. Um, all right, I'm going to pull up the wheel. If you guys don't see your name and you wanted to enter, let me know. And I'll put it on there. You'll have about... 30 seconds to tell me because I want to get spinning. Um, Good luck. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know, man. I didn't know they were uh, exactly how how the they worked. Um, how the, like, if you go in between or what. Yeah. Stay smart. I see you asking uh, my favorite spots to fly. That golf course that you see in most of my videos, that golf course is something... Uh, it's, it's huge, it's, it's massive, it's like hundreds of acres. So I'm still finding new spots to fly on that golf course. And uh, when I feel for like, you know, those long, fast, low, low runs over grass with a lot of open space, I'll fly the golf course. And then there is a the few bandos along. The thing with the bandos, they're kind of close to where people live. And five inch drones can be obnoxious. And, noisy and annoying so those bandos i have to choose the days that i go to fly because i have people living close to them but uh yeah mix between the two when i feel brave and uh don't mind breaking something i'll hit the bandos. and then when i want to just cruise around some open space and trees i'll hit the golf course you're in now mfr all right i'm spinning this is going to be for some wrecked get some wrecked uh battery straps and i don't know i'll throw in i'll find some props i have a few sets of props and some nappy stickers so good luck everybody here you go i'll send you my uh my address uh, i could add your sticker to my sticker collection all right technique won that one um congratulations tech hit me up um congratulations technique i'll send you some stickers too technique um i think do i have your i think i might have your uh address technique i don't know did i have i sent you something technique for some reason i think i have i don't remember So yeah, the, uh, what you see on my videos, uh, we live more on the southern end of the island, southwestern end of the island. Mm -hmm. Three quarters of the island is actually a protected rainforest, a natural reserve. So we live like on the southwestern end of the island and around the outer edge of the reserve of the rainforest. It was the first protected uh, national rainforest in the western hemisphere in i think it was 15 like 1500s by king Dang. whoever king henry it was <laughs> hey 
Triton, what's up, What's man? up, Triton? Good to see you. You just missed the giveaway, Triton. But I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do two more, actually. Um, uh, I'm gonna give away this. It's a, a Radio Master T8. This was my 500 sub giveaway. Um, did, but did then. And then, if somebody wants to give me three dollars a month for a Patreon, you could be entered to win a ten dollar gift card, or even a dollar. But my goal is to get a three dollar patron. Great. I like my my favorite numbers are three and thirteen. <laughs> I don't know why. Try it. And what 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 are you catching these days? We have some amber, some amber cavalli, and some amber jack that we catch in these days. Uh, Nappy, you where you you're close to the you're on the coast at all? Like where exactly? Uh, I'm in Ohio. Ohio. All I'm right. I'm close. I'm clo I'm close to Canada. That's why I asked where you were going because I'm actually. I mean, I can be, I can be in Canada in like maybe four hours. Like, <clears throat> but from um, Quebec, I'm like I forget how far it was. Like. 13 hours, I think, or 12, or I can't remember. Wow. Wow. Huh. But we we were actually talking about maybe going back to Canada this late late fall, early, like, before winter. And going... The fires stop for it. Yeah. It, 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 it was weird. Um, yeah, I, I saw your message, Tech. Thanks, dude. I'll hit you up. Um... When we were there, the fires were actually going on, and it, they really weren't that bad. Like, um, the, the sky was hazy a few of the days, <clears throat> but then our, on our way home, man, it was, like, horrible. Like, it, you could smell it. It smelled like burning plastic, and, like, yeah. it, it was kind of, it was gross out, really. Yeah. My, mom, my mom's there now in, in Canada, in, in Quebec. She's going to come visit me later on uh, in October or November. She has to get away from that winter. It's too cold. That's why I live here, not in Canada. <laughs> Six months of winter is a little too much for me, man. <laughs> we yeah, in Ohio, in Ohio, man, we have we have probably two and a half to three and a half months. I don't know where it's. It, there's only about two months where it's like horrible. Where you like don't want to go outside, but then most of the time, it's not that bad. I mean, I'm used to the cold, like, yeah, like I I've actually flown when it was like, wind chill was like single digits. I mean, it wasn't fun, mm -hmm. but but I flew a couple packs, but. Do you have to uh, conform a boot for flying like in snow, I, or can the quad handle snow? Being you know, snow's more or less dry only when it hits yeah. something. It would then turn into the moisture. Yeah, I've I've never conformal coated and I've crashed, like. And it was fine, yeah. Yeah, like I've one yeah. time, one I time don't. I, I flew in a parking lot that where they just plowed it, and like there was big mounds of snow, and like mm -hmm. I had to dig it out, and I'm like, well, my stuff, everything's burnt up, and like I unplugged it, and I didn't, I mean, I didn't fly it then, but like I came home, dried it out, and it was fine. All right, Tech. I'll uh, I'll send you your stuff. I I should send it tomorrow. If not, um, I, I will Friday. But I'm gonna try my best tomorrow. So yeah, you um, you fly a lot of long range. I dabbled a little bit in long range, but I found that I feel I I, I don't feel comfortable flying so far out. You know, I feel uh, I want to fly and feel. <laughs> Good. I don't want to fly and feel kind of like on edge, you know, like I'm about to poop my pants. <laughs> and that's the feeling I get when I'm flying two kilometers away, like, oh God, am I going to hit a bird or am I props just going to spin off randomly? <laughs> I, I have, but nothing super crazy. But I kind of like it. It's kind of relaxing and it kind of isn't. Like you kind of get like a, a rush from it, or I do, yeah. but it's... Uh, that's in the winter time is kind of when I want to do it because I'll just go stand outside and then I'll just fly you know one pack or two packs long range and it'll be you know 10 or 15 minutes and then I'm like done but 
Yeah. I've never got into it like hardcore or nothing. Mm. Yeah, I'm always a freestyle man. I'm just always uh, thinking about some something new, some new variation. Yeah. Uh, th there's a dream I have where I want to do all the tricks that I know how to do in one run. <laughs> so every time I go fly, I kind of think like, is, is today going to be the day where I get to do everything, you know? A trippy spin and then go into a Matty flip and then into a split S and then just do all the moves that I know how to do in one run without crashing out. That's like a dream. What? You know? But some, something always messes up your line. You know? and you, 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 even if you don't crash, you just your line's gone and you just you don't make it. You know? <laughs> I, what my problem is, if I hit like a good trick, I get like excited or like pumped up and then like... <laughs> And then I mess up because I'm like, yeah, I hit it. I got yeah. it. Yep, exactly. And then I'm like, then I hit a tree or something. I'm like, well, there you go. There goes that. Or like yeah. I'll, I'll hit it and I'll be like, all right, I got to keep this going so I can put this clip in my video. And then like, then it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I went through a phase there where I was trying to do, uh, you know, uh, one one pack edits, you know, a full full pack, you know, without without any cuts, mm. full three or four minutes, you know, just just all flying and, and nice tricks, and then I found that uh, you know, in between, you know, you can still you can still get get kind of bored, you know. So I, I went back to my old style where I would just kind of show people the, the like the best bits, you know, kind of chop, just kind of chop it up. Because we humans now have a really short attention span, you know, the know. form content. Yeah. You know, people after the first 30 seconds are like, okay, what's next? You know, and they just kind of swipe, swipe away and get bored. So, yeah. I, I mean, me, I personally, I'm enjoying my flights, but to share with you guys, and I don't want to, to, to get anybody bored. It's just like, okay, here, look, this is the highlight <laughs> of the session. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I... Man, I I like I like to watch FPV videos still, like just even. Yeah. Sp but like, man, my favorite part about FPV flights is like the the vlogging part, and like the people showing like what's going on, and like. I was just gonna say, uh, even though the short form content is doing well and people have a short attention span, things like uh, like live streams that sort of. Uh, carry me along videos that, that that's what you call it where you're kind of taking i'm bringing you along with me yeah that you know people feel a little more comfortable because sometimes you 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 feel a part of what's going on connected like i i enjoy making videos like i enjoy making like like vlogging talking to the camera like like for me that's part of making a video like every once in a while i'll post like a short flight video but like well, I mean, that's good. yeah. I mean, I I make video I, I make videos because I like to do it. I mean, I do obviously. I want people to watch them and get subscribers and likes and stuff like that. I mean, that's normal. That's normal. But like, I enjoy, yeah. actually enjoy making them. You know what I mean? Like, it's fun. I don't know if you noticed. I I I didn't show my face on YouTube for a long <laughs> time. Maybe for the first two years of of flying FPV. It was only FPV videos. Only flight yeah. videos. I hate the, how I look at sound, and even <laughs> now, most of the recent videos that I do, that's probably like the third or fourth take because you know the first take it was a, a, a bumble. I, did, I didn't say what I wanted to say, you know, and then the second take it was all messed up. The lighting was bad. I you know had a big shadow on the face. I couldn't, you know. Yeah. So I do a few takes and then just kind of grab something out of the B-roll to put in the video. But I'm, I'm getting a bit more comfortable now on, you know, on in front of a camera. <laughs> it's yeah, it definitely takes something to get used to, man. Like <clears throat> just sitting there talking to the camera and people's like, I I I like to vlog better, like if I'm flying with people. Like I don't know that that's like kind of like gives me a high or something too to like walk around like, hey, this is so and so, go sub to their channel like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, but yeah. I, it definitely takes something to get used to. Yeah, 
Well, people watch me here like I'm mad, man. You know, walking around. Well, I have the, the GoPro is is on 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 my quad on the drone, so I'm walking around talking to this thing. Yeah. People looking at me like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, this one dude commented on my video because you could see it in the shadow. <laughs> I was using my drone as a selfie stick or whatever, like walking around vlogging. Yeah. But I don't even bother to take the, the GoPro out of the, the, the TPU. I just, you know, hold the quad out of the video. Oh, I use my phone most of the time. Phone quality is good. Yeah, Jason, I enjoy making videos too. Editing is fun. I'm going to catch hey, up. Hey. What Stace Man just said there, I do also have uh, so many videos on my hard drive that I just have not uploaded, you know? And they're there. I actually have some videos on YouTube already, but they're just private. I didn't feel like it was worthy of making it public to share with you guys. So what I want to do is, yeah, I see a lot of pilots do it. Uh, sort of a compilation at the end of the year, you know, so at the end of 2023, I want to do a yeah. compilation of yeah. highlights, highlights of all my best flights of 2023. I haven't done that yet, and I actually would like to do that. That would be cool. Yeah, booster. It would take, it would take forever to do because you'll have hundreds of videos, especially if you fly a lot. You have to filter through those and pick, you know, five seconds of <laughs> <laughs> or ten seconds out of each video. I take you a whole month. I always delete. I always delete all my videos. Like I'll have like fifty of them on my computer, and then my storage is like getting low, and I'm like, all right, screw it, and just start deleting them. I dump them on an external. I have I, a, a yeah, terabyte. I need a terabyte to, external drive. I just dump everything on it off of the main computer. I need to do that, man. I just went through and deleted like fifty videos like two days ago. Yeah, Booster, I want to check it out, man. Yeah. For real, I want to, I'll check it out. And it's kind of fun because when you pull out that you pull out that hard drive and you're going through some footage from, let's say, a year ago and you see some footage that you, you forgot about and reminded you of the session and you're like, oh my God, I remember that day. You know, so don't, don't delete it if you can, if you have space. I know. Somewhere. I need to keep those. That's what I'll, 2024 is my year. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll get something to keep. I, I don't know why. I never even thought of that, man. I never even thought about getting external storage. I don't know why. Yeah. And they're quite cheap now. Those they are one terabyte and two not right. And I have a very big memory card in, in my bottles, in my DVR. And I had months and months of DVR. And because the Sky Zones auto record, I had all my friends' flights as well, so I'm sitting there and just going through my flights and also my friends' flights <laughs> because it, you know it was recording their flights as well. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool to have all that footage. So, like, um, did you like? Were you like watch them in your goggles when they were flying? Is that why you had it? Yeah, yeah, I was just riding along. Uh, do you, does that uh, make Does that make you sick? Or feel weird? Uh, no, no. I like I like that kind of stuff. That fast moving. I'm, I'm a gamer also. I played a lot of games growing up, so I always like that kind of fast. Uh, you know, it ma it makes fast pace action. It makes me kind of sick, man. Um, to watch other people fly, I don't know why. Well, you don't know what they're going to do. You know, I could see that. You don't know what they're going to do. They're just going to turn. Yeah, like you know, I... I it, it's strange. That happens sometimes if I'm uh, re-watching the DVR of the person's flight. But if I'm standing next to them and talking to them while they're flying, I feel a little more connected. But if I'm watching a playback of, of a recording with the goggles on, I get that sort of feeling like, oh, what's going to happen here? I know what you're talking about here. Yeah. Well, like, even, like, say, say I crash somewhere, and I don't know where it is, like, my battery came unplugged or whatever, and I, I'll go back to watch my DVR, like, it'll kind of even mess with me, man. Like, I just, like, I don't know, like, I don't feel like I want to get, like, puke or anything, but I kind of feel like well, lightheaded, that, yeah. like, lightheaded, dizzy a little bit. It's like, I don't know, like, I've never gotten used to that. Like, I'm so glad, yeah. I'm so glad I can fly, you know what I mean, because, I mean, it's kind of, it's weird. 
I get that feeling from uh, from simulators. I don't know if it's because there's, you know, I'm looking at this flat screen when trying to focus on that and I have all this peripheral, you know, the room and everything else going on. But I can't fly simulators. I mean, I could go on and I could fly maybe like three minutes, but after three minutes, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. Like I had enough. I, th- I don't feel it. It's, it's kind of strange. I think somebody, somebody else has told me that they couldn't fly a sim. I can't remember who the it was. Realism, the realism is off. I mean, I got it to, to, to where it felt as close to a uh, real drone as possible. You know, I had to jack up the gravity and play around with kids and stuff. But it just still felt uh, felt strange. If I'm going to sit and play a video game, I might as well play Call of Duty <laughs> or Grand Theft Auto or something. Uh, I will fly when I go outside. <laughs> I I sim sometimes. Um, me and Flexo, we we uh, simmed uh, a couple of day. What is Flexo still here? Yeah, two or three days ago, me and Flexo simmed together for about an hour, probably, and that was what pretty I, cool. Have you ever tried the goggles to plug your HDMI? Uh-uh. I uh, I've never tried it, but I want to try plugging in my goggles into the simulator. I need an adapter, HDMI mini to HDMI large. Um, if, if somebody, if, all right, if I, if I get, if somebody wins this and they live by you, is it going to cost me like $500 to ship it to them? Do you think? Yeah, yeah in Trinidad to be able to. Yeah. No, it, most likely it'll be uh, to my, uh, to Miami. Um, because this radio is only like 35 or 40 bucks and I'd hate to How much is shipping to Miami? I, I mean, I'm not worried about shipping to Miami. That's probably nothing. Yeah. So all, so all, everything, all of us, local, all of us, local pilots have a oh, at, also access, oh, access okay. to a, an address in Miami that we use. All right. I thought, all right. I thought only you had one. All right. I get it. Um, yeah, so no, sometimes we share one uh, if we needed to, because again, you know, we, we would just try and get all the orders together into one, so would, one package. Would, would, so would this get stolen if I sent it though? If you send it just straight normal uh, mail? Yeah. Probably, but if you do it through the Skybox, like to our Miami Skybox, is perfectly safe. Okay, okay. Those, yeah, yeah, those are private companies. They, um, they are always safe. I've never. Nothing's gone missing. I was quite surprised at DHL though, because that uh, HD Zero VRX that I ordered, it was from uh, from the UK. I got it. I bought it from a guy in the UK, and he, he shipped it to me. And then DHL lost the package somewhere. It didn't even leave the UK. It got lost somewhere in the ground on the ground in the UK. Uh, That's that was my first experience of a of a reputable company losing a package. What's up, Ohm? Ohm is one of my um, patrons. Ohm, I'm going to do the patron giveaway here in a second. Um, I'm trying to beg for $3 a month from somebody before I do the spin. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, I want to do the, I'll give this away then next. So if you want to do this, enter, uh, I guess, enter T8. And then I'll write it down. I'll do the old-fashioned spin again. That's the jumper. Uh, no, it's a radio master. It's the, oh, the radio master. Whoops, wrong. It's um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's definitely a beginner radio. I actually bought it. I think I it. Just got... I got myself a jumper, a jumper T Pro. Oh um. And I'm trying to go, trying to go ELRS because you know <laughs> I can't. I'm flying Crossfire, and everybody is like, "Man, you should try ELRS. ELRS is shit. ELRS for life." So I got myself out this jumper, the Jumper T Pro, and was trying to flash the external module with the uh, Lua script for the Crossfire module, and bricked it. So I have a project for a rainy day is to unbrick these jumper t pros you have to open it up oh and man on a little wire to the boot button 
and they basically need to do rocket science to reflash the ELRS module inside of this thing. That sucks, <laughs> man. Yeah, but I still have my other uh, X light. I have the X light that I'm flying. Is um oh it, yeah, it's a rest to X light. That's um, man, those little gimbals on the X light. Like I like the way the X light feels. The gimbals just feel like they're like that freaking big or something on it though. It's weird. Yeah. But it, 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 I found the, the, uh, this jumper T Pro has sort of uh, like right in the middle. You see this little bit of play here? I didn't like that. The, the X Lite doesn't have that. Sort of, you know, almost like it's like a little loose right in the middle. Well, I mean, I if you. I, I like them to be tight. <coughs> if you tear it apart, you might be able to fix that maybe. I don't know. I've never t torn apart yeah. a radio. I know. Uh, I'm flying 3D, so. With the X light, it's I uh, have a, a, a middling, so my, my throttle is centering, like just like my uh, pitch and roll stick. So both both my sticks on my X light are, are centered, middling. Oh. And that is that is how we fly 3D. So right in the middle is neutral, up is is throttle up and down is reverse. So if I'm flying and I let go of my sticks, it just goes to neutral. Both of them do that. Both your sticks are just like the normal. Both, both my sticks. Yeah, and I, I, in my next video, I'm going to do that because uh, you even asked about stick uh, yeah. cam. That's yeah, I'm going to try and make something. I don't know, I strap something to my chest. Um, so people could see, yeah, people could see how my radio, uh, I had a few people ask me how uh, my radio was set up for that. Flexo, is that how your radio is? Is Flexo still in here? Only two people want to win this radio? Come on. That'll make my spin easier. <laughs> I'll just flip a coin if only two people enter. Yeah, I'm like man, three D three D is like like mesmerizing to me. I don't know. Like I I want to do it so bad, but then like I'm I'm not going to. I'm like holding off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have I have sort of a unique kind of three D mind because with uh, wind surfing and kite surfing and stuff, you know, you give it in that sort of three D world. So the sort of maneuvers we do. You know, the upside down, the long hang time, but, you know, to me it feels so similar. Man, like... Hey, tr Triton, yeah, I've been, uh, had a stand-up paddle board lesson yesterday with three people. We went on a nice little paddle. <laughs> so three people want to enter, that's it. Look at this beautiful Radio Master T8 Pro, three people want it. All right. It's 10.51. Yeah. If nobody says anything about 10.53, I'm spinning the wheel. It'll be a quick spin. Rilo, you're in. I got Rilo. I got Rilo. <laughs> I got Rilo, uh, Lambo, and MFR. MFR. No, King Keek. Uh, my Patreon giveaway will be at the very end of the stream. And... Um, if you want to join, the link is in the description of this, um, and it's a, I'll be giving away a twenty dollar gift card to Rec. King Keek wants in. Yeah, but I could only fly I could only fly these gamepad style radios. My hands are small, so I tried those box radios, and they're just a little a little too big for me. Um, I flew the uh, um. What's it called? The Tango Two for like ever for like over two years. Yeah. What do you think of that new pocket Radio Master pocket? Yeah, man, it looks super weird. Like uh, it looks like it would be very uncomfortable to hold. It looks. That's what I was thinking. It looks like your hands would be too close together. The radio is actually too small. That's what I was thinking. I'm. A, I was actually thinking about buying one. As a backup radio, to just have it here. Yeah, and they're like sixty four dollars or something like. That's yeah. crazy. And yeah, what what what, I, what sold me on it? What I really like about it is it takes the eighteen six fifties and it's uh, it has a module base, so you can use your whatever you know your Crossfire or your ELRS module on the back. Yeah. Well, for me, you know, I I still like Crossfire. I had, I've never feel safe ever since I since flying FPV, believe it or not. And I've been flying a three 
three years, three and a half years, I've never failed to find Crossfire. So I have a solid link. I haven't. I've uh, I fail safe on Crossfire. Really? Um, yeah, it was that. It was actually weird, man. Like it was um. You had it set to uh, a low output, like twenty five or. No, I was actually flying. It was actually my long range that I was just bought, and I was uh, I think what it was, man. I was I wasn't like in town, in town, but like I was. I wasn't out like in the middle of nowhere and I think I might have gotten like in between like a cell phone or something tower and it like made it fail safe. It was weird. No mm -hmm. Flexo, this isn't Patreon. Alright, Flexo's in. Um, so I got Flexo, Lambo, Rilo, MFR, and King Keek are all in on the on the radio giveaway going once going twice do you want to win the radio stacy what's Stace up man, j rod stacy man stacy man's got a run he probably doesn't want this radio anyway he's using his same radio from 1995 <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just changed one of the gimbals on my x light i'm still loving it man it's nice and smooth all right, no, J-Rod. No, no jitter. That's another thing I noticed. Uh, you know, you can look at the traces on the, uh, on, in beta flight. And with the X-Lite, it's rock solid, you know, right in the middle, 15 out front. This one, I found it was kind of bouncing around a little bit. I don't know. Figure that out. Let's see, I have Lambo, Rilo. All right, Technique's not in on this one. I don't think. Let's see. J-Rod, MFR, King Key, Krylo, Flexo, and Lambo. Alright. We're getting ready to spin this one. Um, I was getting ready to say something and then got freaking... Uh, got uh, distracted. Have you ever been down to the Caribbean one? No, man, like, that would be super cool. <laughs> yeah, man, well, you know, way, way, uh, going to vacation next. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be, like, do you have to have, a like, for me to get there, do I have to have a passport? Yeah, you need a passport, but you don't need, like, a visa or anything in particular, you know, just a passport, because you're leaving, you're leaving the United States to, to enter another country, so... You'll need the passport. I think uh, Kim Kim Fuse and Garda Rota are gonna try and come down this winter. Keeping in contact with them. Hopefully that 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 works out. And that'll be the first that'll be the start of something. <laughs> Let's hope. Island vibes. Island meetup F U V. That'll be super cool. Yeah. Like how much are plane tickets to get there? Like are they cheap? Uh, it's reasonable. They have a flight from uh, from JFK to directly to to Bago. A couple hundred dollars. Uh, in the season, it gets cheaper. Man, I just I, I put the wheel somewhere now. I can't like it's not popping up to where it was at. Um, let me see something here. Like I don't know where it went to. I keep trying to find it, and it's, uh, I don't know where it's at. Yeah, so maybe like 100 US or something, or 150 are out there. Yeah, like for me to fly from, so, for me to fly from like here to Florida, it's like super cheap. That's why we don't get, uh, we don't get many Americans. Our, most of our tourist base, our, our clientele here is from uh, the UK. Americans and, uh, not sorry, Americans already come here. We get UK and Germans. Because to get, to get here can be either expensive if you want to fly direct. Uh, if you want, if the cheap way to get here is just too much of a hassle. You have to connect at least two or three times. 
So, as you said, most people in the U.S. would go to Florida or the U.S. Virgin Islands or, you know, somewhere closer. And that is also cheaper, you know? Yeah, like for us to fly... Yeah. Like for us to fly to Florida, like you can get like a round trip ticket for all. Yeah, Lambo. Lambo, yeah, island. Boy, island vibes. <laughs> I'm going to have to, uh. It's so weird, I can't, uh. The wheel's gone. <laughs> I'm going to have to, um. Yeah, re, re spin the wheel. I'm going to have to re add it. It's weird, uh. I'll find it in a second. Um, I don't know where it freaking went to. Yeah, the wheel has gone like I just had it and then I stashed it off to the side and I was getting ready to move it, uh, move it back and then, uh, re reload it. Yeah. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Um, so did, did this remote ID thing affect you at all? Like, did you have to go and get those modules put on all of your parts? Or what was the deal with that? I mean, uh, legally, yeah, we will, but... Ah, uh, shit. Not really, no. Um, yeah, I think that's supposed to go into effect. Um, let's see, set like next month. Um, I can't remember when, like, uh, uh, I think like September. Triton, Triton, yeah, it's uh, it's now 11, 11 o'clock. Same, pretty much the same time, same time zone, unless you guys turn your clocks back. No, they're try. I think, I think Triton's in California. I think. Ah, okay. He's in a different, uh, different time zone. All right, I'm about to. Man, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, the, old crossfire for life. Yeah, I used to fly uh, FR Sky when I just got into FTP. I had, you know, XM Plus, RXSR, and all that fancy jazz, and still fail see all those receivers from from FR Sky. <laughs> Even their dual, you know, their uh, diversity receivers still fail see. I never, well, I flew FR Sky a little bit, um, <coughs> but then I mainly, I mainly started out with Spectrum, which was weird. Hmm. Yeah, I never played around with Spectrum. Man, I cannot get this wheel to pop up now. It's so weird. Um, it was there, and then... Lambo says it's cursed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to... Here we go. I should find it. All right. There we go. Now I got to... I found the wheel. I just need to... All right. We're good now. I found it. I had to go... That was super weird. Um, it was like gone, man. Like it was gone. <laughs> And it wouldn't pop back up. All right. Is it everybody's? I think everybody's good that said they wanted to win. So here we go. This is for the radio. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. King Keek won the radio. I need to start paying attention who wins. So. Um, King Keek won the radio. I need to write this right, stuff King. down. And then Tech won King, the... King, King Keek. King Keek. 
Yeah. King Keek won the radio. And then um, nice. Get them kids. Get them kids into the FBU, man. And then te- <laughs> and then Tech won the stickers and stuff. The goodie bag. All right, I will safely put this somewhere over here <laughs> so I don't lose it. And then uh, so I can do the Patreon giveaway. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do the Patreon giveaway in a second because it's we both said 11 o'clock was good and it's uh, getting to be it's after 11. Just after 11, yeah. Well, I think I just switched sides, didn't I? You were That's on the- one good thing about the simulator, uh, King. The kids, the kids could get into FTV through the simulator because you know they're already used to playing video games. Did um. I want to check my Patreon and see if anybody else joined before I do the, uh, yeah, like, The Sims cool, definitely for kids. All right, nobody wants to join my Patreon. Thanks for nothing, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll still do, uh, dang. All right, um, yeah, my, my kids played the, uh, Sim some, but um, I don't know. I should sim more, and I don't. I uh, try to get you know what us what FPV pilots are like. You know, everywhere we go, we're talking about FPV. You know, we're on on the train, on the plane, we're like, hey, have you heard of FPV before? <laughs> you know, selling FPV like it's drugs. But I, I have a simulator on my laptop, so anybody that's kind of interested, I'm like, well, hey, look, you want to try to see what it's like? Jump on this simulator here. And uh, people have surprised me. People have literally grabbed a, a radio for the first time in a simulator and took off and, and flew around. Like people who have never flown an uh, actual drone before. So some people just kind of understand the physics behind it and how, you know, uh, in acro, not, not, not in uh, not in stab. So in acro mode, you know, some people just understand that pitch, that attitude, how you know the the, the quad could hold and maintain that attitude, the pitch and roll. It's um, yeah. I mean, some people just are like, they got that, like they just got it. <laughs> I blocked you out for a second with the wheel because I was messing around. At least I know where the wheel's at now, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I swear I don't know where it went to. I couldn't freaking find it for anything. Um, so what you said you have about, what, uh, eight to ten people flies there? Yeah. And uh, everybody in Trinidad, mostly. So only when the guys come over for holidays. Yeah, actually, this is considered a long weekend because tomorrow is a holiday. Most people will take Friday off of work, and you know they'll enter for a four day a four day weekend. So I don't know if any of the guys coming over to Tobago for the weekend, but we will see. Sometimes I get a surprise visit, but I always have packs charged, and and most of the time I kind of lugging my gear along with me in the car. (laughs) That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm reading the chat. Good. Uh, that's cool, King Keek. <laughs> Thank you, Um. You're awesome, man. Thank you. Uh, did you join my Patreon, Lambo? Is that why you're telling me to check it? I'm getting ready to spin the giveaway for my patrons. What's up, Mark? Good morning or good evening. I thought it said good morning. <laughs> I was like, wonder where you're at if it's morning. Um, King Key hit me up somewhere and I'll I'll get your radio out to you. Um, well, so I was going to say something too. Yeah. So when you, when you go out to fly, how many packs like you, you you would normally consider a session? Like four or or eight or because I uh, I try to kind of commit like a, a one hour after work. You know, one hour after work at least to fly. So I always have like four packs. 
I would consider four packs like a, a session. Yeah, that man, that's about me. Um, I I I usually charge. I'll usually charge. Um, I don't know. It'll be anywhere from four to seven, maybe eight. If I'm going, if I'm going somewhere cool, I'll take like six, eight packs. If I'm just going to my normal spots that I fly at all the time, I'll uh, it'll usually be probably just four. Four is a pretty good number most of the time. Yeah. I had a uh, forever. I think I only had three or four packs, and then, mm. um, then like anything else in FPV, you start to get more. Uh, but yeah, I think right. I think as of right now, I think I have seven packs that are good, and like mm. uh. Seven that are good, and then um, a couple that suck. So yeah, four to six usually. What you what are you working on right now? You know we always have some something we're working on, some new move, maneuver or something. Uh, well I'm actually I've been flying the uh, the Bridge City um, Burnside, and it's like a toilet tank. <clears throat> and then I have the um, the demi bot, and um, I'm then I just I bought a vanny style frame, and I'm getting ready to switch everything from the demi bot to the vanny style, just because they're so weird to fly to switch that uh, yeah. I think I want them to be about the same, but. Um, yeah, I just built one of those new source ones, the split deck, with the uh, five. I think it might even be six millimeter arms. I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't I th measure it. I think they are six. That new, yeah, man, that new uh, source one looking nice. See, chunky arms. They have that chopper cross thing in the middle there, where the arms kind of slot, kind of fit into. The so it, 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 it's not very tight, but it look, it, it, it should work. As long as I don't slam it, it's a concrete wall. <laughs> my, my, son, my son flies the Source 1, like the V2 or 3 or something, man. And that thing, he's crashed it. And I'm like, this thing's going to be exploded. And I'll go pick it up, and it'll be fine. Yeah. I have the, the V3 is, is my passer. That's, that's the point that I'm going to, you know, I, I take into the Pando and, you know, push the limits of it. This... This frame here on the wall, that that was a that was a source one uh, V five, but that was the one with the thin the thin arms. I think it was like three or four millimeter arms. I snapped one of those arms in a normal simple crash. All right, I have. Oh, I think I, the first first version of the V five. I added home to my the wheel twice. Um. Sorry, man. I was, I was, I, I, I didn't hear what you said at the end because I was. Uh, yeah. What did you say? I heard you say something twice, but I didn't hear what you said. Uh, oh, I was just talking about the the source one. Oh. Source one V five first version, first V five before the one with the six millimeter arms. It was, it was too thin. It was a weak frame. I can't, I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember which one my son has. I think his is a V3. It's probably the V3. Yeah, the V3 was the one with the wide, uh, the, the kind of wide arms. I had some arms for it. It's like right up here. I, that's what I was looking for, but I don't, I don't see them. And they had like a little bowl of nut that fit in, in a tweet. All right, I want to do my Patreon giveaway. Thank you for joining Lambo. Um, I'll give you guys two minutes to, if you want to join my Patreon to win a $20 gift card. And then I'm spinning the wheel. I I knew we both said 11 o'clock would be a good time to end it. And I knew it wouldn't be at 11. <laughs> <laughs> you know how those things are. Yeah, you know, once you get talking about stuff, man, it just goes on. Like, 
I think when when Stacy yeah. Stacy came on, and I can't remember how long we stayed on. It was like three hours or something. Like hell, we were back to when we were kids talking about stuff. We went went that far back. Yeah, that happened with uh, with Hit the Deck on uh, KC on his stream. And we went for like four hours, well past midnight. You know, it's just going on and on. I think everybody, everybody practically left the chat and we <laughs> were still there on the stream. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I mean, like you said, like, you feel like you know people because through FPV and stuff, it's cool. But then, like, you don't actually sit down and talk to somebody really that much. You know what I mean? Like... You comment on people's stuff and stuff like that, but then like talking like it's different. Yep. All right, I'm gonna spend the I want to spend the uh, Patreon giveaway. Um, thank you guys for being my patrons. Ohm, I think you're in here still. Thanks, man. Um, Lambo, thanks, dude. You guys are awesome. Um, you guys helped me do the giveaways.